Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues with Safari or for some reason the pages are just not loading. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons but first of all starting off the main way this will end up happening for you is if you actually end up not having any Wi-Fi so you know data connection, cell connection, whatever the case is, if you're in an area or if you're on airplane mode, you will not be able to load up any pages at all. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to Safari, load up any web page if it's still not loading, you want to hop out of Safari, you want to go into your settings app just like this, and you want to check your Wi-Fi connection, your cell connection, every single connection possible, and you want to make sure you're either on a good stable Wi-Fi connection or you have a good stable data connection coming in. If you don't have a Wi-Fi connection or data connection, then you're not going to be able to load up any pages. A great way to verify if you're actually not having any Wi-Fi or data is if you go into Safari and it's not loading up any pages, or you go into your app store and it's not loading up any pages here either, or you go into Instagram, TikTok, your other apps, whatever. If none of these things are loading up, then you're pretty much never going to be able to get the Wi-Fi or you know any pages to load up in Safari. So you're going to have to make sure that you're connected to a good, stable internet connection. That is pretty much the number one thing I would recommend everyone to do. And if you go ahead and connect to a different Wi-Fi connection or a public connection, and you see that your Safari browser is working, well, you pretty much fixed the problem. You know, it was the Wi-Fi connection, your phone is still fully functional, and it was a very easy fix. Now let's say you are connected to a stable connection, other apps are loading, but for some reason Safari isn't loading up the pages. Well, you want to make sure the website that you're going to is actually a website and you didn't misspell it or something like that. But on top of that, what I would recommend doing is pretty much restarting your device. This is pretty much the most basic thing you can do, but you will not believe how often it is that this can actually fix the problem. So literally hold the volume up button and the side button, or if you have a home button iPhone, just hold the side button, the power button, and you want to power off your device, power back on, and see if that ended up fixing the issue. Sometimes this will actually end up fixing the issue. If it still didn't fix it, what I'd recommend doing is hopping into your settings like this. You want to scroll down until you see Safari. It's typically down here underneath Messages and FaceTime. So you want to click Safari. You want to scroll all the way down over here until you see Clear History and Website Data. Now this is going to delete everything from your iPhone Safari browser. It's not going to factory reset your device, but it's going to pretty much just delete stuff that's within your Safari browser, your passwords, or your search history, all that stuff. It's almost like resetting your browser. So this could actually end up fixing the issue. I've seen in a lot of places and a lot of times that this actually ends up fixing it. And this is probably what I would recommend you to do is go ahead and click this little button. And if you do that and it's still not working, the final thing you could try is updating your iPhone. So you want to make your way over to your settings app just like this. You want to go into general. So you want to go into general like right here, go into software update, and you want to see if there's an update available for your device. If your Wi-Fi is not working, I would recommend updating your iPhone by plugging it into your computer and updating it through your specific laptop, PC, Mac, whatever you have. I would recommend updating through that way. And that should end up fixing the issue. If you're still experiencing issues at this point, I would probably recommend contacting Apple and having them take a look at your iPhone. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much for you guys to hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More important than everything else, so every single one of you guys, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.